The Life Guards is the most senior regiment in the British Army, and one of two cavalry regiments which make up the Household Cavalry, itself a part of the Household Division, which is tasked with many ceremonial functions, including guarding of the monarch. The regiment can trace its roots back to the time of the Restoration, when Charles II raised four troops of horse guards and two troops of horse grenadier guards. These units are action in the Third Anglo-Dutch War in 1627 and during the Monmouth Rebellion in 1685. In 1788, the various separate troops were amalgamated into two regiments, the 1st and 2nd Regiments of Lifeguards. The regiments have seen much active duty throughout their history, some of the most notable including the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, the Second Boer War, and many of the major engagements of the First World War, including Mont, the Marne, Aisne, Messines, Ypres, Passchendaele and Arras. During the Great War, the two regiments were re-rolled as machine gun battalions as part of the Guards Machine Gun Regiment. After the war, they returned to their previous roles, and in 1922 the two regiments merged to form the Lifeguards 1st and 2nd, before dropping the latter part to become simply the Lifeguards in 1928. During the Second World War, the Lifeguards operated light armour and were involved in many theatres across the world, from Nijmegen in the Netherlands to the Great Battle of El Alamein in Egypt. The Lifeguards also participated in the Normandy landings and were involved in the advance through France to liberate Brussels. After the war, the Lifeguards have seen service in Suez, Aden, Oman, Cyprus, Malaya, Singapore, Borneo, Hong Kong, North Island, the Gulf War, Bosnia, Kosovo, and most recently both Iraq and Afghanistan. In 1991, during army restructuring, they joined a union with the Blues and Royals to form two regiments, the Household Cavalry Regiment, which operates as armoured reconnaissance, and the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment, which performs mounted ceremonial duties. Today, the lifeguards operate as armoured reconnaissance, operating the Scimitar Combat Reconnaissance Vehicle, set to be replaced by the Ajax in 2020. The lifeguards, thanks to their important ceremonial role, still regularly wear their impressive full-dress uniform. For most, this consists of an Albert Patton heavy cavalry helmet with a white horsehair plume, a scarlet tunic with dark blue facings, a polished steel cuirass, a white sword belt and cross belt with a distinctive red cord, a vestige of the cord which used to carry a powder flask. White trousers and extremely large jack boots are usually worn as well. When dismounted, they may be seen wearing black overall trousers with three red stripes, the most of any unit. This is most commonly seen in the band when dismounted. Rank is indicated by a complicated series of gold cords and aguilettes, worn on the left by NCOs and the right by officers. Officers also have the standard series of pips, as they're known, on the shoulder boards, although unlike most regiments which use the Bath Star, the officers of the Household Division use the Garter Star. Officers wear a slightly more ornate helmet and are replete with complicated gold embroidery on the collar, cuffs and tunic tails. On occasions attended by royalty, officers wear a gold cross and sword belt. Some notable exceptions to the aforementioned uniforms are trumpeters, who wear a red plume as opposed to the usual white, and farriers, who wear a black plume and a blue jacket like those worn by the Blues and Royals. They also carry a ceremonial axe on parade. The farriers historically were tasked with providing veterinary and blacksmithing skills for a cavalry unit, as well as humane dispatch, for which their distinctive axes were used. A unique feature to the household cavalry is the omission of the rank sergeant, There is some debate as to why, most likely because historically it was an exclusively infantry rank. There is also debate that it might be due to the word sergeant coming from the word servant, and since members of the household division were from noble stock often, it was seen as derogatory. Instead the word corporal is used, so for example instead of sergeant major you'd have corporal major. The regulation sword of the lifeguards is the 1892 pattern, which has a 37-inch blade, making it one of the largest in the British Army. The regimental quick march of the lifeguards is Millinolo. The slow march is the lifeguard slow march, and the trot past is Keel Row. The colonel-in-chief of the lifeguards is Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. I try to be as accurate as possible when making these videos, but after all I'm only human, and mistakes are sure to slip in. If you notice anything that's amiss, please let me know in a comment so I can correct it and also learn, because this is something I'm very interested in personally and I like learning about it. Um, If you have any suggestions, since obviously this is the first one of the series, I'd like to hear them, and I 
Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you uh, stay tuned for the next one, which will be the Blues and Rolls, hopefully next week. Thank you very much. <laughs>